Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I am going to be showing you a couple really pretty and easy cards using the Calming Camellia stamp set. I'm going to tell you all about this exclusive stamp set. This is part of the Stampers Dozen blog hop for January and our theme is In With The New. This qualifies. We're also going to be using the, I was looking for it, the Heart and Home Designer Series paper, which I'll give you a little closer look at. So pretty. Absolutely love it. So let's get the camera flipped around and I'll tell you all the goodies. This Calming Camellia stamp set is just so beautiful. I love these kind of um, sketchy, images. Now, Calming Camellia is part of our celebration promotion, and this is a host-exclusive stamp set. So, when you host a party that totals $300 or more, you can get the stamp set absolutely free. And when we get to the end of our video, I want to show you the card first. I'm going to tell you how you can get this without having a bunch of people into your home if that's not what you're comfortable with. So, Let's get started here. The Heart and Home Designer Series paper. Now, I love this paper because we've got some pretty prints on one side and then wood grain in basic gray and white on the other side. And I just think it's kind of a shabby chic look that I really gravitate towards. So we're going to be using this paper. We're also going to be using the Tailor Made Tags dies. Now this is a set of, let's see, there are 10 different pieces in here. We have eight tags in this, four in this design and four in this design, and then we have the little centers for them. So I'll show you what to do with these two elements. I've got the brand new iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. These are my absolute favorite, you guys. I'm telling you, when you place your order add a couple of these at least because I just can't get enough of them. We're also going to be using these new heart and home doilies. This is part of the heart and home suite that goes with the designer paper, but we've got um, Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider, and Basic Gray doilies that are white on the other side that allow you to make them any color you need, but so, so pretty. You get 30 in a package, so that's a really awesome deal. I've also got the Open Weave Ribbon in Fresh Freesia that we'll be using on one of the cards. Fresh Freesia Ink, Basic Gray Ink, and Memento Black Ink. So let's bring in our layers for our first card. Now, I want you to know, you will always find still photos, so photos of these projects, as well as all the dimensions. That is a big deal for me. I always put my dimensions on my blog and you can find that right here. Also, if you plan on putting in an order, this is my current host code. You will find it on every blog post and in the right-hand column on my blog. If your order is under $150, you're gonna use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have those. So we're gonna start out with our thick, basic white card stack. This is four and a quarter by 11. I have already scored it in my paper trimmer at five and a half. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got that burnish good. I've also got a basic white envelope, a scrap of basic white, a piece of basic gray that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I have cut my heart and home designer series paper. I use this particular side. It is three and three quarters by five. I've got a three quarter inch strip of this pattern and also a scrap of fresh freesia. So we are going to do some die cutting right away. I'm gonna bring in the tailor made tags. Now I have to tell you guys, these are very, very popular, and with all of the um, shipping issues that we are experiencing all over the globe, Stampin' Up! is not immune to that either. We are having um, 
these are on back order right now, but I do show that they're going to be back in our warehouse the week of the 24th. So I just want to let you know that, that they're coming. So I am going to die cut this tag and this tag. I use it from this side over here. And then we're going to die cut these little circles on our scrap of fresh freesia. So I'm going to die cut all of these. I'll be right back. Okay, so here comes our little circles and our two tags. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. This is just a, um, a cushioned mat that I sell in my online store. It's called a piercing mat. I like to cover it with printer weight paper, and this is my stamping surface. So it keeps my table clean, and it gives just a tiny, tiny bit of cush which is what makes your stamping images uh, a little more crisp. So here's Fresh Freesia ink. We're going to take this big tag and we're going to ink up that gorgeous, gorgeous floral. I love this image so much. As soon as I saw this set, I'm like, oh my goodness, I must have that. Do you ever have that where you're like, oh, I gotta have it. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're going to stamp that right on this tag. That looks really, really nice. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Then we're gonna take this little tag and we are going to stamp our sentiment in basic gray ink. So I've got, I love being your friend. And I have to tell you, I love the fonts in these. I'm really a big font person. I like different fonts. You're in my thoughts today. Happy birthday. Lovely you. You make me smile. It's the little things that make life great. And the one we're using here, I love being your friend. So we're going to stamp that right on our little label. Oh, I got that just a little bit crooked. I am going to grab a different one. Not gonna be satisfied with that being crooked, so I just die cut another one. Just white scraps, right? Okay, so I'm gonna stamp this right on my label. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. <laughs> Second time's a charm. And then I'm going to take this and just over here on the side where I know there's little flowers right there, I'm going to bring this in and stamp it on the bottom of my tag. And isn't that just so charming? I love this look. Now, as long as we've got our ink out and we're stamping, let's do our inside before we put anything together. I always like to stamp the insides of my cards before assembly because if I mess it up, I can turn it around, I can redo it without wasting a lot of like designer series paper. So I'm gonna do the basic gray, you make me smile, absolutely love that. And then we've got this pretty like leafy foliage image and I'm going to stamp that in the basic gray. I'm going to stamp it off once very lightly, and I'm just going to come in here and add that image right there. And I just thought that would be very, very pretty. This three-quarter inch strip is for the inside of my card. I just like a little bit of decoration, and I think that pop of color is going to make this pretty spectacular. So this is three quarters by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to trim off this little tiny bit here. And isn't that just pretty? I love this. Okay, I think we can start assembly. So let me close these ink pads up. Oh, see, all on my finger already. And we're going to take this, the three and three quarters by five, and we're going to put this on our basic gray. It just has a tiny little margin then of a sixteenth of an inch. The basic gray is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Oh, I see that my cutting. Oh, there we go. Get that centered good. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put this on the front of our card. And then we're going to take these two pieces. On the smallest tag is where we're going to grab one of those little circles from the 
um, I don't know what you call these things, but they remember, they remind me of library tags, right? I don't know where that's coming from, but it's just something that sparks my memory. Library tags. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it right over the opening on this particular tag. And that just dresses it up a little bit. Now we don't need to do anything on this tag because we're going to cover this up right there. Oh, you know what I noticed? I've got two different tags here. I've got the straight edged one and the detailed edged one. So <laughs> that's funny. I'm just going to keep going. But um, I would probably use, I use this type of tag here. I would probably use that here too. And my sample is made with this matching tag. So I'll, uh, I'll put the pictures up of that so it's not confusing. But here we go. I'm going to take this tag. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right up here. And I'm going to put this right on here. And then I wanted to grab these doilies. I'm going to cut this one in half. This is the basic gray. I'm just going to cut that in half because I only want to use half of it. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. And we're going to just let this peek out a tiny, tiny little bit from the side of our tag. So this is what we have going on. Now I'm going to grab some of my ribbon and fold it in half. You know, one of the things I really love about Stampin' Up! is all the coordinating product. And I love that I have ribbon that matches ink, that matches cardstock. I'm going to go in. I folded this in half. I'm going to go in. I think from the back is the way that I want to do this. We'll see in a second. I, want to, I need to make this kind of a little pointy so I can get it through the opening to get it started. There we go. And if you have one of those um, like ribbon threaders, that works really good for this too. Yep, there we go. That looks great. Spread this out a little bit. I'll trim it up once I get it on our card. And now we're going to hit it with dimensionals because why wouldn't you? I love dimension on a card. And this one certainly needs some. My goodness, what's happening here? It looks like my dimensionals were cut a little bit too deep. Um, maybe a manufacturer's flaw there. If you ever have anything like that happen, you contact Stampin' Up! They will replace these because that shouldn't be cut like that, right? Yeah, so there's a little tip. We stand behind our product, always. Always stand behind our product. Okay, I'm going to get this on my card. And here we go. Put this right on here. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think? I just thought this was so pretty. I'm going to trim this a little closer. There's our card. Here's our inside. And we need to do something with our envelope. So let's grab that. I think I'm going to grab this big floral. And... We are going to stamp that right on the front of our envelope. You're going to have like the most amazing presentation when somebody opens up their mailbox and finds this beauty in there, right? So here's our card. Here's our envelope. I am going to do one more card for you. Let me bring in the other layers. This one is also going to be fresh freesia and white. So what I've got here, all my layers, we've got five and a quarter by, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half. We've got fresh freesia that is nine, nine by three and a quarter. We've got a three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I'm bringing in the same wood grain paper. So this is four by five and a quarter. This is three by three. 
three quarters by whatever we need it to be. We're gonna trim that. Two basic white layers that are both three by four and a quarter, and of course our envelope. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. We're gonna take this three by three designer series paper and I'm gonna put the tip of each end here in the channel and I'm going to cut this at a diagonal. Okay, so this is what we're gonna end up with. We're gonna do the same thing to the Fresh Freesia three and a quarter by three and a quarter. We're gonna cut that on a diagonal from tip to tip. There we go. Move this out of the way. Oh, while we're here, you guys, we can take this piece. You can fold this in half if you cut it the way that the paper folds nicely, or you can score it at four and a half. We wanna just score it in half since it's nine inches, that would be four and a half. Okay, I'm gonna get this ready to go. <clears throat> Burnish this edge good. And then we're going to, you're only gonna need one of these, okay? So I am going to take, uh-oh, I cut it the wrong way. Hmm, hang on. I needed this, I need, I need this wood grain to go a certain angle. So instead of putting it in like this, I should have put it in like this and I just wasn't paying attention. But I will use that other piece for a different card, don't worry. We, I will not waste it. There will be no designer paper wasted here today. <laughs> okay, now I am going to take this and I'm going to put it on this piece right here. So we can add that. Mistakes are just always opportunities to do something different, right? or to explain why it's a mistake and maybe not do it next time. <laughs> I'm gonna take this piece and add it to my Fresh Freesia. And I'm gonna grab my tear and tape. You need something fairly strong for this. I'm going to add that to the back of this edge right here. And we're gonna form a little bit of a pocket. So here comes, you wanna stay really close to the edge so you're not taking up all of your pocket room. And tear and tape is really strong and good for these types of things because I don't want my card to fall apart. Could probably do mini glue dots too you don't have any tear and tape, but I do recommend tear and tape is really nice for making boxes and it's a great adhesive to use on um, fun folds so that they don't come apart on you. Okay, here we go. We're gonna just add this right to the edge. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, see, now if I would have put this in the other way, my planks would be going this way and that would, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of goofy. Okay, here comes our two white panels. And I am going to take one of them and grab my big floral stamp. I'm gonna get this stamped right on this panel. Then I'm gonna take my Memento Black ink going to stamp this right on here. Isn't that pretty? I just love that bold black ink on there and that flower in the background. Delicious. Okay, it's the little things that make life great. And then I'm going to leave that blank on the inside so that I can use it for whatever I want to use it for. I could use it for a thank you card. I could use it for a congratulations card. I'm gonna take this three quarter inch strip that I just pulled out of my pack of paper. It was just a scrap. And I'm going to put that on there, okay? So this is gonna go on the front of this little card. if I can get it straight. Some days the struggle's real, right? <laughs> and 
And then we're gonna do this one on the inside. This card lay layout actually came from one of my team members, Lisa D'Alessandro. She makes some pretty neat cards and I was so thrilled to see this because I'm like, oh, I could use this layout for the Calming Camellia, right? Well, look at how pretty that is. Now we definitely need some embellishments on here. And I am going to, again, come in with these beautiful iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. That's what they're called. And I'm going to do just another one right there. We'll put a medium one up here, a small one, because, well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> and how about another medium? Oops, I didn't get a hold of that one. This, by the way, is your take your pick tool. It is one of my favorite tools. It is a staple next to me, as well as my paper snips and my bone folder with my glue. These stay very close to me when I'm stamping, but this take your pick tool is amazing. You've seen me use it to do embellishments. I take the back off of the dimensionals. It's good for all kinds of things. All right, now we need to do a little decoration on here. And I'm going to grab that flower again. And I'm just going to stamp that right on my envelope. So now we have two beautiful, beautiful cards using the Calming Camellia. What do you guys think? Is this not so pretty? What do you think about adding a little bit of Wink Estella? I think that that would be a really great idea for this card. And I'm going to do it right here on this label. I'm just gonna color this flower in a little bit on here. And I hope you can see that. Can you see that in the light? That adds just a little, little bit of pretty. We can do that over here too. Just add a little bit maybe to the center flower right here. And can you guys see that? I hope, let me get my light in here a little better. I hope you can see that, it's so pretty. Okay, so there's two great cards with the Calming Camellia. Now, I was going to tell you a little bit about this stamp set. This is available for free when you place a $300 order. So you can, you know, stock up on your card stock, your embellishments, ribbon, um, and get this for free with a $300 order. Or you could have a catalog party. And catalog parties are very easy to do virtually. Because what I would do is I would send you a host code, a different one that is all your own, it would be set up under your name. I would send you links to our current catalogs and you would then copy and paste those into an email or put them on your Facebook page and invite people to join your online party. You can collect orders. They will go online to my store to place an order using your code, not this one, a different one. And all those orders will stack up with you. And when you hit $300, you get this for free. What? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, the other thing that's great about right now is it is celebration time. So I'll give a link to this brochure. You'll find this on my blog. Um, everything in here is free. So free with a $50 order, you get paper, you get stamp sets, more paper, really cute stamp sets and more paper. Here's a bundle. You get the paper and the stamp set with a $100 order for free. And we have this fantastic special moment stamp set, 21 different sentiments in here, free with a $100 order. The other cool thing about Celebration, which lasts until the end of the month, is not only can you get all of this stuff, but if you join my team, and I have a really fun team of discount shoppers, you get to choose $125 in any product you want to put into your customizable kit, anything you want, plus you only pay $99 for it, plus during celebration before the end of the month, uh, the end of February, you get to add two stamp sets of any size to your kit order. So pick out $125. You get to choose two additional stamp sets. You only pay $99. Free shipping. You get a paper pumpkin kit included with this. All the goodies. And you get to be part of something so much bigger 
being part of my team. Now, most of my team members are discount shoppers. What does that mean? That means they don't sell anything. They just buy their own goodies at a discount. And if you have any questions about that, you are going to find um, under this video, there's a link that talks about the $99 starter kit. Click on that, you'll find all the details. There are no strings attached. There's no drawbacks to doing this. So if you're considering putting in an order around $100, you should try this. You get free shipping. You get to choose 125 plus two free stamp sets and be part of my team. It's awesome. We have so much fun. And like I said, the card that I demonstrated here, this layout was from our team swap. Lisa's a fantastic swapper and I was so happy to have this cute little fun fold to share with you guys. Be part of something bigger. It's a lot of fun. All right, don't forget, this is part of the Stampers Dozen Blog Hop. They are hopping with the link right up here. Make sure you click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything that I have coming out. And hop along and see what all the other demonstrators in the Blog Hop are making with In With The New as our theme. I think you're going to love all of these projects. All right, you guys, have yourselves a fantastic night. And once again, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day or night to spend it with me. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.